Our last red room. What is it? Huh? Is this a dead end? I wonder what this thing is. Why should I? Well, thanks for looking out for me, Fi. Right. Then I have no choice. Did you really think I'd say that? You heartless monster! There's nothing on either side, is there? Oh, sorry about the confusion. I was talking about your breasts. What the fuck? <laughs> uh oh, you hit a you hit a sore spot. <laughs> what? If you're a C cup, then I'm packing 12 inches. Uh, did you really want to say that out loud, Sigma? <laughs> we continued in that vein for some time until. Until Luna got her shit together and was like, oh my god, I am with a bunch of children. Huh? Huh? Thanks, Luna. The others are still shut tight. Ah. Yup. Whoa, where the hell are we? What is this place? That's a really suspicious looking machine with tubes and stuff. Holy crap. Right, well, let's split up and look around. Yeah. They're probably in this room somewhere. Are we gonna act like they're not gonna be in the safe? <laughs> Oh, what's the name of this room? I don't think I saw any mention of what it's called. Oh, control room? Is that it? Okay. Wow. I don't think I've heard anyone talk about this room before either. Hmm. What is this thing? It's huge. I would guess it's used to analyze things. It looks like it's missing a part though. Missing a part. Something in the middle here. door we came from. Pipes! This looks like it's the control panel. It's covered with screens and buttons and so on. Come. Oh. A laptop. It's got something on the screen. It's the letter T. Huh. Did you see that thing plugged into the side of the laptop? Yeah. It looks like a memory stick. USB scanner. Scanner? Oh! Huh? The screen changed. Do you think it's because you pulled that thing out? I don't know. Let's try plugging this thing in again. Oh. That's weird. Is it related to this here? No, apparently not. Test clipboard. A clipboard with a piece of paper that says test on it. Look at this. Test was written with a highlighter, wasn't it? Yeah. Each letter is a different color, too. So, do you think that the letter T you're seeing on the laptop might be an image capture by a scanner or something? Huh? What do you mean? 
Sometimes scanners don't pick up things written with certain colors of highlighter. Maybe this one didn't like blue, yellow, or pink highlighters. And that's why we only got the green tea? Can't be sure, but it seems pretty likely to me. Scanner? Like, what is this thing? Huh. I don't think this is a memory card. Why? What? Unless I miss my guess, it's actually a portable scanner. See? There's a thin slit on the end. Just wave that part over any images or text you want to scan. Then you can just plug it back into the laptop. And look at whatever you scanned. Neat. Oh, is that real? That's actually really useful if it's real. Very portable. Hmm. Guess we'll leave it alone for now. Control panel. Ooh. Hey, I think you can move these. Oh, you're right. Is that a good idea, though? It says off on the top and on on the bottom. Hmm. I don't think we can know what this means unless we figure this out. Hang on. Is it just lighting issues? But how come this one, the on and off are different color fonts compared to all the other ones? That's weird. Hmm. Keep that in mind for now. Hmm. Nope. These are all wrapped in PP bands. PP bands? Rope made of polypropylene. Hmm. Rope. A cardboard box filled with complicated machinery. Do you think we can use it? I don't even know what it is. Hmm. Looks like there's a few different books here. We've got some sort of dense technical thing and a novel? Hmm. Doesn't look like there are any clues here though. How would you know? How would you know? Ooh. A red clock. It says 11,400 seconds on the face. Not sure why. Is that like a precision thing? Why is it in seconds? If I convert that back to hours, will that be anything in particular? Divided by 60 is 190. 190 minutes. It's not really any even amount of hours. Okay, so this clock is not 24 hours. It's only 190 minutes. Oop. Keep doing that. Compass. A compass. One leg has a needle, the other leg has a pencil. Do you think we're supposed to use this for something? Well, usually you would use a compass to draw circles. Where should we draw a circle though? On a piece of paper, I would assume. How big of a circle? Hmm... I don't know. If we had an angle to set the compass to, that might help. Like that? <laughs> protractor. Wow, a protractor. Haven't seen one of these in a while. I was just gonna say that. I don't think I've seen one of these since high school. You remember what they're for, right? You use them to figure out angles. There's a red line 30 degrees away from 90 degrees mark. What's it mean? Maybe it's telling you to set some angle to 30 degrees. Yup, such as the... Compass. Expanded compass. I set it to 60 degrees. <laughs> I thought five just said 30. All right. I guess now I just need to figure out where I'm supposed to draw a circle. Maybe there's something with a mark that shows us where the center should be. Hmm. Well, the, my first thought is to use it with the paper, but it doesn't really say anything about... Yeah, maybe not yet. Huh, these look promising. Let's see here. Damn, I can't understand any of this. Is this some kind of code? None of these have anything useful. So much for that. Some papers. They're filled with incomprehensible code. Some cardboard boxes. There's some machinery inside, but we don't know what it's for. Guess that's that. 510 minutes. A blue clock. It says 510 minutes on the face. That's a long time. Not long enough to be a normal clock. 
Mm. Ooh. Same type of locks, but it looks exponentially more difficult. <laughs> oh. Hang on. This locker looks like the one in the crew quarters. Even the puzzle panel looks similar. Let's see here. Oh, lord. Okay, well, first of all... I think we want to get rid of this. We still have this, right? Okay, good. So the blue clock was... 5... 1... 10... Minutes. Whoa, I don't even know how to, like, are those buttons here? Hours and minutes. And this one was, what is it? Oops. God damn it. 190 minutes. Okay. Can we click on these? No. Then how do we know what means what? Okay, well, for starters, maybe I'll convert 510 minutes to hours. Eight and a half hours, so that would be like... <clears throat> eight hours... 30... M. And then 190... Would be... Well, it'll be three hours and ten minutes. Three... Hours... Ten... Minutes. Hmm... How do we... I kind of vaguely see what we need to do, but I don't. Well, 13 plus 17 is 30, so I feel like we need to use that for 30 minutes. But like, how do we... Do you know what I mean? Like, I just don't know why there's so... There's like four rows of things here, but only three buttons here, so I'm not quite sure... How they want me to input this. Um... Maybe we'll start with like... 8 hours, 30 minutes. Let's start with that. 8 hours? Ah! Okay, 30 minutes. 3 hours, 10 minutes. 3 hours... Oh, here. 10 minutes. Woo! You did it! It unlocked! See if you can open it! Alright. Woo- Uh... Okay. Rainbow tree root. Wow, those are some intense colors. What is that thing? I think it's a root system from a tree. What? Come on. No tree has rainbow roots. I don't think it looks like that naturally. They probably painted it. It's pretty ugly. I agree. So what am I supposed to do with it? I'm sure it'll make a delightful souvenir, but I don't think I'd make it past customs. Maybe you're supposed to put it somewhere. Like? Well, on that machine, perhaps. Oh, the machine that we found that was missing something earlier. Okay, could be. Uh, this one. This one, it looks like we need a four-digit code, so I'll leave it alone for now. Okay, whoa. There is a small hole on it that looks like it was made with a needle. For the compass. Do you think this is where it goes? Where what goes? <laughs> okay, we'll just put it right here. The sheet of paper has on and off written on it a bunch of times. There is a tiny hole in the middle of the paper that looks like it was made with a needle. So, I just put the compass needle in here. How do we know what order this is in? Because of this one? This one is a different font? Was that in the middle? Or was that like the third one or something? On, off... Okay. On. How should I record this one? I'll start from here. On? Uh, that's not a good... <laughs> How about... On? Off. On. And this is the one with the weird font. Different font color. Off. 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 Okay. Okay, we got that. Whoa, that looks complicated. Let's ignore it. We'll go back to the levers here. Mm. Let me touch it. This one. Right. 
So according to this one, on, off, on, off, off, off. So the only one I need to adjust is really just the first one. Wow. Sigma, what are you doing? Don't break it. Oh, no, it wasn't me. It just fell off. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Well, it's off now, so no point crying over spilt lovers. Maybe we can use it somewhere else? Like where? Oh, we almost accidentally solved this one. <laughs> There's a lever here. Phi seems to think maybe it would be useful. It better be. And then going back to the machine here. Let's place it down. Hmm. I think I could put that rainbow colored root here. But why? Hmm. This doesn't feel right. I think like we're missing something. You think like we're missing something? Okay. Well, we'll leave it here for now. Maybe it's missing a lever somewhere, huh? <laughs> What's that button? Is it missing a button or... Okay. Leave it alone. That's a tall screen. I don't think it's turned on. Maybe it can't get power for some reason. Okay. Maybe power, that's what we're missing. Ah, right here. Yeah. What are we looking for here? And why is it not telling me what this is supposed to be? What's this? It's got all these pipes. Look at the black and yellow lever. It says power under it. Do you think this tubing has electrical cables in it or something? Maybe flipping these levers will let us change the amount of electrical currents. What would that accomplish? I don't know. Well, I'm guessing the power lever is the source. Hmm. Might as well give it a... Wait. Don't get ahead of yourself. Look at the 320. Oh. The lever's missing. Without a replacement lever, I don't think we'll be able to do anything. A lever. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, if I just put it here... It just happens to fit right in. Good. There we go. Okay. So, what should I do with this thing? I found a manual on the floor over there. It says that this machine doesn't really use electricity in a conventional way. Huh? Those tubes use some special kind of liquid to transmit electricity. Actually, it's pretty complicated. The simple version is that you can adjust the voltage by adjusting the flow of the liquid. So, let's say you turn that rightmost lever all the way to the left. This one all the way to the left. If you do that, then all the liquid coming from 240 will go to the left tube. Turn it all the way to the right, and it all goes to the right tube. What if you put it in the middle? It splits. Then it gets half. Each pipe will end up with 120 instead of one getting 240. So what's the deal with the question marks? That's what you're supposed to figure out. Those represent unknowns in the target values. The one with three question marks means it's supposed to be a three-digit number, while the ones with only two mean that there are only two-digit numbers. And of course, the single question mark means that the value is only a single digit. Sounds like a zero to me. What about that one that starts with a three? Well, I would guess that means the hundreds digit has to be a three. So, question mark four question mark means that the tens digit has to be four? Yeah, I think I got it. Yeah, I think so. So let me see if I got this. We need to adjust the lever so that the values match the unknown blah 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 blah. Yes. That's correct. Yeah. Once you've got all the levers set, then I think you pull down on the power lever, like this. Makes sense. I think that about covers it. Oh, wait, one more thing. The liquid will only flow from top to bottom. The manual was very specific about that. Okay. 
Let's do this thing. We've already done this kind of puzzle before in 999 in the shower room and also earlier in the laboratory. So nothing really new. And at that time, we just split everything and it worked. Uh, will it be that easy this time? No. <laughs> okay. Well, I think the fact that this is a zero pretty much means that there's no flow going in. Yeah, so at least we got that going on. Um, well, 240. This is two. So if it's middle here, that means this is 120 now. If I split it, that's 60. That would fit. There's another 60 here. 60. 120. 120? I need a calculator. 120 plus 60. That's 180 without this side. 180 without this side. But we have to add something to make it so that the middle digit is a 4. So what about the half of 320? 180 plus 160 is 340. Yeah, so this one needs to be half. Right, so 160 here, and then 120 here, 60 here, makes 340 here. Is this right? I thought it was gonna be like the other one where we really don't have to change it that much. But yeah, these two are right. This is right, three. Oh, it says right here, there's freaking... What am I... <laughs> Why did I do all that calculation then? <laughs> I can just randomly flip these things. Not a big deal. Okay, I have to think anyway. I can't just randomly flip them. All right. Mm, this is zero. This is right. This is three digits ending with a zero. Okay, cool. So we have 160 coming from this side. Which doesn't work with whatever's happening here. Um, 210 divided by 2 is 105. 105 divided by 2 does not make a zero in the end. So maybe if we just move it away. Does that not work? I feel like it should. 320 divided by 2 is 160 here. And then 160 all the way over here. Why does this one not light up? That's strange. Oh, maybe I'll start from the other side then. Okay. 240. Divided by 2, 120 on each side. 120. 120. Um, since it starts with a 3, I think we probably need to move this whole thing over. Yeah. 240 plus whatever this is. 210 divided by 2 is 105. 105? If we move it like that. 105 plus 240 does start with a 3, but it's still not happy yet. Why is it not happy? Oh, do I have to press this first? Oh, they don't change automatically. Okay. There we go. <laughs> yes, I'm a champion. Look. Let there be power. Turn the power on. Cool. A tall screen. It seems to be powered, but nothing happens when I touch it. Oh. The root. Look at that thing. I know. Isn't it beautiful? Are you kidding? It's gross. Oh. Oh, but it's still not really doing anything differently. And the screen is not doing anything, so I guess we have to figure maybe this thing out. But I haven't seen a spot with numbers yet. Have we seen something like that? I don't feel like we have. What do we have right now? A scanner. Can I combine it with the paper? Oh, what the hell? Hang on, can I do it again? It's a yellow... Yellow scanner now. What? Oh, hey, the screen's blue now. This is... Huh. Looks like a password. What? 
You think this is for the panel on the safe? I assume so. Wait, I don't get it. How do we just get that... That's so random! We just got the gold password by scanning the paper that was right next to the USB thing? Okay, I'll take it. I don't really understand this part though. This doesn't seem to really do anything. Hmm. Do you think this picture was taken with a laptop camera? There are two bundles of folded cardboard boxes. Just like the ones behind us. Hmm. Um... Look at the space between the boxes on the left and the wall. Is there something there? The space between the boxes on the left and the wall. Here? Yeah, there is. Let's go take a look. Okay. Is that like a clipboard or something? Like right here? Some folded cardboard boxes. No, right behind us? Right here. Oh! These are the boxes we saw on the laptop screen. Okay, let's try moving them. Oh. Numbers clipboard. Sure. Sure. <laughs> and now we go back here. It's not gonna give me the escape password though, is it? No. Look at the screen. Huh, it changed. 7213. 7213. Yep. Do I want the USB back? 7213. 7213. Oh, this is so. the scrolling. 7213. Oh my god. Okay, I should write this down because there was like multiplication signs and stuff. Seven. <laughs> Seven? Um... Two... One? One... How does the division work though? Like, is it one divided by five or five divided by one? Anyway, one... One... Three... Excellent! Unlocked! Good work! Now open it up. Ooh. Disc-shaped part. Ooh, on top of the machine. What is this thing? It's pretty big. Maybe you're supposed to wear it like a crown. Why the hell would I need to do that? Well, it could be a part of a machine. If it is, you probably need to attach it to something. Okay. That machine over there seems good. The roots, it's shining with all the colors of the rainbow. Huh, looks like it would fit. Here we go. Um, nothing's happening. Hold on, it's... Scanning? It's moving! Looks like it's finally ready. But ready for what? Well... Ready for you to use this, I'm guessing. The screen? Yeah. I think. Oh. Give it to me then. I think I've got it. This machine is a CT scanner. You mean like from a hospital? Yes. One of those things that can take pictures of cross-section of your brain and organs and stuff? Yeah. It can image things other than the human body too. Like this root, for instance. Mystery of the root? Hmm. So, what we're seeing on the left is a splice of that root? What? Here? I think so. What are we supposed to do then? I think trial and error is going to be the best way to figure this one out. Wow, I can't... <laughs> Wait. For a puzzle to directly tell me to use trial and error. I feel like I've been fed to the wolves here. What the heck? Just start messing around with it, and we'll see what happens. Alright. Dragging up and down where the image of the root is displayed will allow you to scroll between layers. 
The bottom layer has eight circles of different colors. Four of these circles are blank. Assign an appropriate number to each circle. The numbers you can use are displayed below. You can move the numbers where they need, where they need to go by dragging them. Here goes nothing. We have no concept of what the numbers are supposed to like come up to or anything. Jesus. 100? What the f- What the hell is this? Fractions? Really? What is this crap? Okay, so there's four different colors. It seems like maybe this is supposed to add up to a hundred. Do you mean like the denominator or what? 16 plus 15 plus 20 leaves 51 for blue. That seems a little high. Uh... Well, I'll put a one here. So none of these change. They don't seem to change. And we can't check or anything, so we just automatically get it right when it's right. Nothing changed here. Oh my lord, I, I have no... <laughs> okay... It's not giving me any feedback, which I feel like is difficult to solve a puzzle which in which you don't even know what you're trying to do. There's no feedback. Alright. Okay, uh, I guess we'll just have to rely on figuring out the relation between the fractions and the numbers here. 4 divided by... Gotta take a picture of this. So yellow is 4 divided by 16. Green is 6 divided by 10. We don't know about blue. Red is 3 divided by 15. Should I try getting the numerical values? 4 divided by 16 is 25. So, like, would I want to put a 6 here? So that's 6 plus 19 is 25. Would that make any sense? You gotta give me feedback here. You're not even- you're not telling me if it's right. You're not telling me if it's wrong. 3 divided by 15 is 0.2. Would you want an 8 here then? Because 8 plus 12 is 20, and 20, like 0 0.2, 20, 20%. That makes sense? Holy hell. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well, 6 divided by 20 is 30. So do you want a 9? So that 9 plus 21 is 30? No, I feel like we might have something going on here. But this one, we don't have an indication of whatever this is. We just know that this needs to be a hundred. Um, if we add up all the numbers here right now, 19 plus 6 plus 8 plus 12 plus 15, that's already over a hundred. Uh, not quite. Maybe just the percentages. 25, 20, 30 percent is 75%. So that tells me that the remaining blue circle, the fraction should come to... 25%. Okay, something that gives me 25 then. So a 10. I thought it was a 10, but I didn't want to just randomly put it in here. Huh. Looks like I got it. You sure did. That's amazing. Good work. Well, would you look at that? The color changed. Hmm, I wonder. Have a look at it, Sigma. This is... I knew it. You've seen a password like this before, haven't you, Luna? Yes. In the AB room, and in the infirmary. It'll open up the safe, right? Yeah. Okay. Whoa, this one is... All things considering. These puzzles seem to be on the easier side. I wonder if this route is supposed to be like, one of the first routes you find or something, because yeah, these puzzles definitely feel easier. Or maybe... Maybe I've just done so much of them that they are starting to feel easier, but they're not actually getting more difficult or easier. Where's the safe? I forgot. Over here. Okay. A safe! It looks like the ones I saw in the AB room in the infirmary. Yes. Star? Sun? Star. The gold file, though, that was really easy to get. 
I don't really know what that was about. <laughs> He's a cake. Okay. And then the second one. Hmm. We are just breezing past these rooms now. Sun, moon, star. And we're out. Oh, that's new too. Yes, it opened. Okay, let's get our prizes. First, we've got... <laughs> Don't take the thing underneath. A map. It says floor B. The one we found in the crew quarters said floor A. So did the one in the infirmary. Hmm. We came down here using an elevator, right? So that would make A the top floor. Seems weird. Don't the numbers usually count up from the bottom floor? Basement? Well, look at it this way. A for above, B for below. A for ally, B for betray. Why does that seem... ominous? Whatever. Moving on. Our next prize is... Let's see. Key cards. They have a moon on them. Here, Fi, you have one. That means these are the moon cards the announcer was talking about. Now we can play the next AB game. They gave us two, just like with the sun cards. I'm a solo, so I'll take one. Fair enough. Fi is a smarty pants. She doesn't need me telling her. That's fine with you guys, right? Sure, go for it. We've got two other things left. I've seen one of them before, but this one... Oh, we weren't looking for a keyboard, but a Blackberry. And we've never seen this before, so this has got to be a critical route. Is it some kind of input device? It has a keyboard on it. And a cable connected to the top. We can worry about that later. Okay, so if Dio planted the bombs, he's not going to bring a device for you on purpose. The one providing the things for you to get rid of the bombs is zero. Yeah, we're definitely working towards saving people here. Might as well take it with us for now, though. And finally, the key. We can get out now. Yeah. This should unlock the exits. Alright, sounds good. No more screwing around. Let's move. Nothing in this room that we haven't looked at yet, either. In the previous room, there was a tombstone that we never opened up. Not too sure what we do there. I wonder what this room was anyway. Oh yeah, we never looked at the, the machine inside. Oh? He didn't notice? Notice what? The thing on the other side of the glass that looks kind of like a metal octopus. Yeah, I never looked at it. I think that maybe that's an annihilation reactor. <laughs> uh, annihilation? You mean, like that bomb? Yes. The core of the Annihilation Bomb would work on the same principles. I think Fine knows a lot more than me about these things, though. Well, I wouldn't say that. I've just picked up a few tidbits of information here and there. Tidbits, huh? If it is what Luna thinks, it should be pretty simple. There's going to be a bunch of matter and antimatter in there. Probably hydrogen and anti-hydrogen, bumping into one another. When they do, they annihilate one another. That's where you get the name and release a bunch of energy. You can actually calculate how much energy by taking the mass defect and... Ah, <sighs> stop! Too complicated! You're saying that octopus thing is a machine that runs off annihilation energy, right? Well, machine is a weird way to put it. It's more like an engine, like a steam engine, or an internal combustion engine. Just better. All of the electricity in this facility is generated by Mr. Octopus. So that would make this room... Yes. This is Mr. Octopus's control room. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter what the octopus is at this point. We're all done with this room. All we've got to do is insert the key. Why do we seem so worried? 
Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's. I agree. Three, two, one. Didn't really feel appropriate to screw around that time. Very ominous room. Huh. <laughs> 